Hey guys, alright, so this video is for Joe Butcher, and I apologize. I know I'm way later than I said I would be. It's just been one of those weeks. So anyways, not to share too much of my personal life, we're going to just go into it. You asked to see and kind of have me explain the new depot with the survival road. So you can go into the depot either way. You can come here and get through it from here, obviously right there. Or you can as well, if you go back here and you go to your normal depot, as you can see, survival markers. So you can get into it either way. It really doesn't matter. Right now I'm up to 24,000, as you can see, which is awesome. Um, the, the bonuses with this is unbelievable. So you can get characters here that you can't get in the game. For example, him. I want him big time. <laughs> he is an epic, epic Ezekiel. 60 attack, 60 defense for four turns, and 25% HP healer for two turns. That's amazing. Then his leadership skill is just as good. I get a huge AP bonus when attacking. So basically all of your chars will go off second round. Then we have here, Carl. Also pretty damn good. I'm not a real big fan of the red ones, I'm not going to lie. And he's a four star. I wouldn't waste my money on him. Um, but if you need them and you're building, this is how to build. Get these chars that so many people aren't going to have. But he does, he's a solid char. He's strong. His health is high. And he deals 300 damage to... The entire, you know, he's an area attack. And then he gives you plus 45 attack for two turns. That's a very strong four star. Very strong. Then, of course, he's got retribu Retribution. When this character is defended, all of the character's surviving teammates will immediately revive 25% of their max health. Or max AP. So, that gives a nice little bump right up. So that their ARs are going off faster. Is the is the point. Now with these guys, you will see that as you get them, and there was someone else, who was the first person I had there? I can't remember. But anyway, so whoever it was, it wasn't him. Oh, it was Jesus. It was a new Jesus, a blues Jesus, who was a, is an absolute badass without a doubt. He is worth getting. Every five star I've seen so far is worth getting. That's what I would say for. Now here's the bitch. They have made these guys special. Just like when, you know, we all have, well, most of us have that five star Michonne. And it's going to take us like two years to upgrade her to tier four. Yay, Scopely. They're assholes like that. This is the only downfall to these chars. Is that you need a lot of of these points, the survival markers they call them, to even buy one. You know, that's a huge amount. Then on top of that, you must have these items. Used to upgrade survival road exclusive ultra rare character. Have to have that for the four star. Have to have this for a five star. So you not only have to have 219,000, but then you have to have 35,000 if you want to upgrade that guy anywhere. Then, of course, you know, their weapons here. This is, you can't get these anywhere else. And they're nice weapons. I mean, this is a damn good weapon. Random healing, very large AP. Um, I have random healing on one of my guns. I'll show it to you guys in a second. This is stage one. You want to do stage three. Always, always, always. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your resources. Save them, save them, save them. In the armory, that's where you get those bonuses. But when it comes with the bonuses already on there, then you can kind of, you know, make shift it any way you want. But Jesus is superior. Scar is what it's called. And it's a damn good weapon. Alright, so that's basically it. We've got these. These recovered... Recover a disabled character, which is basically if you die, if one of your chars dies when you're on the survival, you can use this to revive it. Now here's the bitch to this, is they have them for every, you know, every tier, well not every tier, what do you want to say, like every stage, I guess, I don't know. But three stars, four stars, and five stars. 
This is only used for four stars. You can only use these on four stars. They're also gifting them like crazy as you complete your roadmap. Well, your survival map, whatever you want to call it. So as you complete it, you're getting a shitload of these. And most of us don't even touch our four stars for the most part anymore. <clears throat> then you have these. This is where these are going to come in handy. Now, this is for Hunter, and it's for a three star. So I have no need for that whatsoever. I don't even have any three stars. For people starting out, this is going to really help you once territories pops. Because these are used to recover your charge. So once they're killed, they're going to have no energy left and they're going to be X'd out. And it takes, I think, 24 hours for them to recover. And some of them, I think, take longer than that, depending on what happened. So if you lose one of your people on territories or you lose one of your people on the um, survival map, you're going to need these items if you don't have a very big lot of chars and I'm saying at least 30 so you're especially with territories coming you're gonna want you can put five teams up and they all are locked just like towers so you're gonna need you know that's a lot of people it's 25 so you're gonna need those teams and then uh, I think that's about everything on here. Again, I apologize for it taking so long. Now, you will see at the bottom the difference between this and our regular supply depot is that this re refreshes every, I think, 11 days. I have nine days and waiting now. So, or nine hours, sorry, and waiting now. So, as we go on, and this updates every six. So we're still learning more and more about this. The survival road, though, is pretty simple. The supply depot is pretty simple, too. Just be mindful that if you're going to spend on these five stars or four stars, that you have to get the gear here as well that it's telling you you have to have. So if you're going to do that, make sure you're going to have that backup to be able to afford both. Or you're just... <clears throat> sitting on a five star you can't do shit with and that's more than frustrating we all know as we all were gifted this stupid ass Michonne and can't do anything with her and she's pretty solid again you can sell always but they're not letting you sell anything for that's all of mine <laughs> but they're not letting you sell anything for survival points this is just you know straight depot still even with weapons everything else and I don't recommend you sell your weapons. I disassemble anything you're not going to use. Alright, so that's survival markers. Pretty simple. Make sure that um, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, I want to throw this out here. Just so everyone's aware, you, and I'm pretty sure most people are, but these guys, they are not worth this amount of points at all. You get them constantly with war. You get them constantly if you keep training the same trait over and over and over again. Like if you're doing um, Hunter or if you're doing Rebel and you do those. I've had four pop out in the last two days. They are not worth this amount of money. Not here and not in the supply depots. These just are not worth this at all. So I would highly recommend you don't do that as well as... These bags, not worth that money. This is not worth it. She's obviously still not worth it. A beanie, I don't think it's worth it, but I have a lot of them. So I guess that's really a judgment call. I buy every weapon that comes through here and I buy all cans that come through here and then I'm always set. Other than that, then I save up. I just bought another five-star Andrea. So now I'm on my road back to saving. I only have 9,000. <laughs> I had 65, so... Not bad at all. And then the more you wore, the more Supply Depot points you get as well. So I definitely recommend you do that. All right, so as always, like, share, comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Joe, this is specifically for you, as you asked, and I am so sorry it took so long. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.